Uh, come on, man. Like, just uh, select your character first, real quick. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me, baby, pick your character real quick for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how I'm going. As if picking Fang is ever a bad choice. No, yeah, <laughs> Fang is a really, really good choice. He has a lot of really good tools, a lot of really good mix-ups and pressure as well. Oh, absolutely. Getting into the subconscious here, into round one, game one. Effect representing this Fang. Looking for a wall rising one, but there's some pokes here. But AK-47 started off winning the, those initial scrappy moments. Mm -hmm. Good call out there by HK. But Effect not phased by that. Tried to set a step there, but got caught there. Tried for the side set pop kick, but HK is playing a little bit patient. Nice block as well in the wall rising punish. Mm -hmm. Seeing the delay tech as well guarantees the low. HK taking the first round. A nice one. jab check there by Effect. Back it off. One three. Or a lot of up. patience here between both players. Both trying to find something either big or just playing the small tech and the chip away at the life. Good okay. call out there by HK. All right, HK trying to find some momentum. Uh, but drops the combo there. <laughs> the machine gun punches. Uh, staggering them so, so much. But the course will come back. One continues to put up the taunt into the yet more follow-up. No, spending that snake eye immediately, but always respecting the Kenpo backstep. Oh, nice yeah. option yeah. there by HK. Oh, HK's playing insane yeah, he looks you know, right very now. comfortable with this matchup. Effect really needing to find something here. These lows making it there, but it does not matter because HK is going to get this launch for the floor break. Oh, man. Getting to the wall swap. Didn't even spend the tornado. Mm -mm. He burst as well to acknowledge the, to extend the wall combo to try to flex the taunt a little bit. Quarter back one. Doesn't even have to worry about spending the snake eyes during all of this. The heat dash, quarter circle back one, continuing to apply this pressure, and then the machine gun mids come in to finish the round. 3-0 in favor of HK47. Brian Fury. All right, we are going to character select. I wonder if Effect is taking this time to maybe get a breather in or if we were going to are we're going to see the king, but it looks like we are going to see the king. I feel like Fang maybe was not warmed up enough for this going into yeah. this game, but hey, sometimes you need to get the knowledge and see what your opponent's going to do with one of your off characters and then go in with your main and counterplay that. Yeah, the toughness that a pivoting over to a new character in order to play into a matchup does uh, can be rough, of course, and you do have to rewire your brain a little bit, rewire your muscles. Mm -hmm. But uh, you're 100 percent right; the data is still good. Yep. Like you can still have that apply to the remainder of the set, however long it lasts. We've got at least three more games. If, if you're an Effect fan or Effect himself, you're hoping for more. Yep. Okay, nice break here. Both characters, blah, blah, blah. both players really patient here. Effect trying to find the low, but HK finding it into the launch. Oh my goodness. He pressed something. Yep. And uh, Brian is Mr. Counter Hit Launch. Yes, he is. Look at the damage. Oh my god. Why'd they do that, by the way? I, I don't know. Why, why'd they just don't. say, hey, Brian, you can do more damage? <laughs> Hey, hey, Brian, you can do more you damage hit harder? again. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You can hit harder. <laughs> you got it, bro. <laughs> okay, nice pokes here from HK. Effect finally finding something here. Can he keep that? Ooh, for Getting caught on the side step. Oh, oh the standing the counter three hit. Oh. It reaches so far. Such an integral button that HK is playing around, uh, playing with so, so cleanly. Has effect at the wall, and the throw break is there. Going to keep that position. Oh, man. Oh, Find nice the patience to step Ooh. there by HK to catch Effect's backside. Yeah, that sidewalk was so clean from HK, and the Shining Wizard gets broken. Oh, but going into heat with the counter there. Nope, no grabs. Still not connecting. Okay, crotch, crotch, punch. Okay, looks like Effect finally turning up. Getting the counter hit. We're definitely going to the wall here. No, the drop. That's so unfortunate. Especially Ian Heath as well. Has to see if he can conserve this as much as possible. Got to see a Heat Smash soon. Choosing to not use it. Always mm. threatening it, but never yeah. quite pulling the trigger. The Shining Wizard gets broken yet again. Oh, but the side Yo, step? Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he was oh, still right. in range. Okay, the 3 plus 4 is one of uh, Brian's most long-reaching buttons. To see the Alakix still be in range was crazy for effect there. But good data for later. Yep. 
In effect, chipping away at HK's defensive playstyle here, finding these openings, and we're pretty much even life here, but Effect trying to get this life lead going into the chain throw? No, we're just gonna tease it a little bit. Oh my god, this is going to hurt! Ooh, <laughs> it looks like it hurts every single time. <laughs> yes. Trying to add oh. some flair to it. Another throw break of himself gets the Jaguar sprint, just looking for the launch after. Okay, good call out there. Oh, we're trading. Oh my god, the trade working. Both trades working out in Effect's favor there. Could have been really scary though. Yeah, Effect really gaining some momentum here. 4 4 neutral 2 coming in clutch, but the down, the sidestep is crazy. Gets a huge launch here. Let's we'll see how choosing the Snake Eyes in order to continue. Oh, doesn't continue the combo as hard, but finds a huge heat engager too. <gasps> Pivoting good for the taunt. On the taunt by Effect here. Counter launching. Okay, checking him with those elbows. Oh, Ooh. but HK with the punishes. Oh my god, Ooh, that's so scary. And the chip damage is crazy. Does Ooh. mid twice as HK47 locks in his place into top eight. Playing so, so well with that, Brian. And I love the final round pivot of, the, of his own playstyle and the adaptation he made right to the very end. As we see in that we in this uh in this scramble, first of all, we're gonna reset the video a little bit. We're seeing the checks here, and yeah. every time Brian is in heat, he's able to use some of his most powerful moves so uh, at, at, with no risk because he mm -hmm. never burns his snake eyes. So typically, I was enjoying watching Effect just play a lot of mid checks and keep things very very close to the chest in order to not let Brian just run away with the game. Instead, he does this big risky hop kick, which. Hey, you know, you did just get connected by a... Uh, you just watched him step back. You just played a little bit of trading with some mid-checks of your own. Maybe he catch a sidestep. Sure, I don't hate it. But then the as soon as that opening came to pass, it was full-on aggression. And it's just a change-up from how HK47 was playing a little bit earlier, which was very much like step back, as you mentioned earlier. Yeah, Pete. really very, patient. Very patient, mm -hmm. very defensive, very like, focused on sidestep launches and counter hit opportunities. Now in these final moments, you're giving a completely different script to uh, effect. Like, look at the pressure, look at the mid checks, constantly pressing, constantly playing at immediate timings, shifting the paradigm onto effect in the very last moment because you know if you win this round, that's it. No more adaptation. You've got to give them a new look right from the word go and make sure that it, it's, a, it's the look that wins you the set. Excellent play from HK47, holding that final moment and that final change up to the very end. Yep. And next we have Sambo Master coming back up against Night Purifier. 